The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. And this is one we've been waiting for all night. Two of the most impressive specimens in the Bay Area are going to team up tonight. But they're going to have to take on two guys. Making their way to the ring first from the state of depression, weighing in at a combined weight of 417 pounds, the team of Truex and the fallen star, Corbin. We're about to say two guys that and they, just, they just come from a different plane of reality, to yeah. be perfectly honest with you. Corbin is in a total world, and Truex is just a total slot. The guy's a total speed fun. He'll have his way with anybody he sees fit. And him and Corvus have teamed up. And Truex, you can see, not caring about anybody. Corvus peering down amongst the very nice crowd here tonight at the Phoenix Theater in Petaluma. Talk to Corbin before the bout tonight, and the only thing he could talk about was that he was ready to drop someone on their head. That's what he wanted to do. And that doesn't tell you something about what these guys intend to do against these guys coming and to the ring right now. To to first. Kratos and Cobb are huge. We brought that up. Corvus didn't care. Two of the most impressive specimens in the Bay Area. Olympian. Making his way to the ring first, from Honolulu, Hawaii, weighing in at 235 pounds, he is Mr. Athletic, Jeff Cobb! That is his partner. Team partner, making his way to the ring, from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 280 pounds, he is the god of war, J.R. Credo! Mr. Athletic and the god of war! And these two guys, when the rest of the country looks at what's going on in the Bay Area wrestling scene, I have to imagine Tom and Credo are arguably the two guys that stand out the most as just having it. Cobb, a former member member of the Guam wrestling team. He went to the Olympics. This is huge. But look at Corvus. Corvus and Truex trying to get one up on the, the powerhouses. But Corvus not having any of this. That's Truex to the outside. That's Corvus in the ring as Kratos. Not for long. Is going to see Cobb send Corvus right in front of us on the stage. All the way out to the stage. Cobb at 239, Kratos at 280. And Cobb has one of the most unique and awesome looking finishing holds in the sport. And that big cop, and Carvis oh. can't believe it. There's Kratos right behind him, and Truex is already Corvus running. Was gone with us, and Kratos came up behind, kicked him right in the ribs. He's about to say it Cobb's wasn't given fair. Truex a tour of the ringside. Kratos! With the big slam, oh and you heard that! Gosh. There was no oh my goodness. whatsoever on the stage. Oh my gosh. You Co see the sawdust scatter when he hit there. That particle board has zero give to it. And now back to the ring, and Kratos and Cobb. And Kratos is saying, Cobb, that guy's yours. Cobb, the athleticism with the big drop kick. As you said, he wrestled for Guam in the Olympics. Cobb is such an incredible physical specimen. Not only the insane natural power, just ridiculous lifting strength, but then you see he has the agility to jump up, kick a guy right in the face. Two count off that back body drop. He said he loves to host what he calls suplex parties. And wait till you see him, a big drop kick in the corner. Just caved Corvus's chest in with that. And now, J.R. Kratos, 280 pounds, and there's Truex, and well, that's something that doesn't need to be called. You saw it for yourself. 
you know, I like what Truex was doing there. He doesn't have him in the power game, so he's trying to sneak up. It didn't work out that time. It worked horribly, but I like what he's doing. You would appreciate the old Rudo tactics. As Cobb back in, big elbow. Huge and elbow from Cobb. You could tell. Look at the welts on the back of Corvus. And Corvus just raked his thumbs right across Cobb's eye. It's not pretty, but it's how you get ahead. And now Truex. Well, he charged right into that big hip toss. And Cobb, who has shown plenty of power, going to tag into another powerhouse in Kratos. This first time these two have tagged up. And it's almost unfair to team these two up. They're both so powerful. And that big clothesline in the corner. But Corvus and Truex are more of a regular team, and that may be where they have the advantage. Cobb and Kratos are more powerful, but they aren't a regular team. Kratos slapping Truex down, and he is hung in the tree of woe. Kratos has something planned for Truex. Watch out! Oh, my goodness! A basement drop kick to the solar plexus. And you can hear that one throughout the arena. And it's really a testament to Kratos and Cobb. Before the match, we were wondering how powerful they would be. And now they've taken apart with drop kicks. Cover had that left leg hooked, but to no avail, two count. Another one by Kratos. And he's trying to stretch him out here. It's almost like wishbone. Now into a cover and only two. Kratos with a very nice pin variation there. Kind of grapevine the leg. Well, back into the corner and tag in Cobb. He's not taking his size advantage to his head. He's still doing the things, hooking the leg, grapevining the leg. Oh, oh my, my goodness! God, a standing moonsault from Cobb. Jeff Cobb with a standing shooting star press. This guy can do everything. And you want to talk about impressing the championship committee. What Cobb has done already. Might have perked up the ears a little bit. Holy criminy. Yeah. This guy's the real deal. Now backing him into a corner. And those big shoulders. You see now those strong him legs. How the driving power that he has on those shoulder blocks. That European uppercut as he tags in Kratos. And now Kratos. This guy has that wrestler's base. Seating him sideways on the top rope. Kratos, what does he have planned here? Going to put him into a fireman's carry. Kratos has a lot of power here. Truex is trying to get out of it, not having a whole lot of luck. Oh, he drops him across the top. A gut buster using the top turnbuckle. He has to roll, to roll him away from the ropes. Cover. And we're grabbing the ropes. Truex, good ring awareness there to break the cover attempt. You can hear the crowd telling Truex to stay down. He has taken quite it's the just beating. Beaten Cobb. Cobb loves it. Kratos. Oh, he lost it there. And Corvus wasn't watching. You could see he slipped out of the Irish whip. And now a fisherman suplex by Kratos. One, two, but Corvus will break Corvus it up. On it. He did not appreciate that back elbow. Corvus wasn't even ready for that. The way that Truex had been dominated, he couldn't even believe that Truex was in his corner. Mm. And now the pump handle. He could be looking for that overhead suplex. Look at him taunting, and there it is. A pump handle overhead suplex. And Cobb knocked he that one out of the park. around the ring right there. Happy with himself. Another cover for him to the face. And Truex again with the ring awareness putting his foot across that bottom rope. It's the only thing keeping alive right now. Cobb is just taking it to Truex, and what a chop. It's the biggest chop of the night so far. And again, he's going to set Truex on the top rope. An elbow for positioning, and look at him spring up. He is ready for a superplex. This could be that delayed vertical superplex he does. Look at the power, counting it off. And a huge drop down to the middle of the ring. Look at that, checking his watch afterwards, man. 
Here's a cover. Two, and again, it's the Corvus in. And the balance that it takes to hold a guy in a vertical suplex while also balancing yourself on the middle rope. It's just not two things that a rest, most wrestlers have. Cobb laying in those elbows and Truex taking it, but Corvus with the knee to the back. Cobb returns favor with an elbow, and now he's going to try and bring Corvus in. Corvus with the suplex. No, Truex catches him. Cobb getting double teamed here. Into the ropes. Truex with the kitchen sink knee and a spinning neck breaker. Beautifully executed by Corvus. And he slides out of the ring as Truex is the legal man. Cover. And this two. is what I talked about earlier. Corvus and Truex are a team. They know how to work together as a team. And right there, that was teamwork. And right there, Truex doing the smart thing of getting Corvus in. But Corvus. Bring in the fresh man. Going to try and toy with Kratos. Looking for the snap mare. And he does. And there's a kick. And he talked about how he just wanted to kick some people tonight, and he's doing it right now. Corvus has a lot of kicks that he prides himself on being able to hit from any angle. And, and he, that's a smart thing to do against Cobb. And he's been on the edge a long time after yeah. taking that slam from Kratos right in front of us on the stage. And so he's he had seems some to recovery be better. Time, and while Cobb was dominating Truex, that'll still take it out of you. Corvus was waiting on the apron. For the first time tonight, Cobb and Kratos look to be in trouble. Cobb battling out, but Corvus, again, the kitchen sink Just knee lift. that knee right into the stomach. And a tag to Truex. Truex with a kick right to the chest. Look at him toying now and sitting down on the lower back of Cobb. And his back still hurt. And a stomp right into the xiphoid, the sternum of Jeff Cobb. Truex with These a big elbow. Smart. There's no weakness on Cobb. So they're just trying to attack everywhere. They're taking his legs. They're hitting him in the chest. They're hitting his jaw. They're just trying to wear him down overall. And for all the fire that Kratos and Cobb had to start this match, Truex and Corvus are returning fire just as well. And this is where the teamwork comes in. Truex knew exactly what he's going to do. He knew Kratos has a temper. He just exploited it, allowing him to land double shots on Cobb. And you know what? After Toby being so well liked tonight, the crowd not liking him not seeing Corvus and Truex take advantage of Cobb on the opposite side of the ring. And again, Truex, look at him, draping Cobb over the bottom rope. And Corvus towing with Kratos on the outside, taunting him, and now a cover two, and Cobb gets out. Kratos is a hothead, and Truex is a kind of guy that knows how to get under people's skins. It's just his natural ability. Cobb hoping to get back over to his side of the ring and tag in the God of War. And they're going to make a wish. Thanksgiving is only two weeks away, folks. <laughs> Truex now looking for the rear chin lock, sitting down on it, wrenching back on Cobb's chin to really put a lot of pressure on the lower back, but now he's raking the face, and Toby was right there to tell him not to do that anymore. Again, he's going right to the face. Truex is knowing how to bend those rules. You have to take your advantages when you get them. You got to look for any way ahead. Crowd wanting the God of War. Cobb backs Truex in the corner. But Truex is going to pull Cobb back and kick him right in the face. Nothing fancy about that, just a high kick to the face. And Truex. Oh, well, that's gross. Well, oh my goodness. And Cobb, well, he wasn't appreciative. And he's going to send no. Truex in and return fire that with the chop. That was a mistake. That oh, was a mistake. Man. Cobb's fired up now, which is about the last thing you would want. But going right back to that solar plexus area, they've been working over the chest and the ribs area of Cobb since they gained control of this match. He's looking for a suplex. Corvus back in. But Cobb going to turn it into a small package. One, two, and... With some help from Truex, perhaps, Corvus kicks out. But Corvus with a big clothesline. 
Corvus with a lot of force there, and now he's just going to put that knee right over the throat. And Toby doesn't even see it. These guys are, have a smart tactical plan to use against Cobb. I don't think I've ever seen two people have this much success against Cobb. Cobb, the smaller of the two guys, but, well, when you weigh a combined 519 pounds, and you're going up against a guy you have 100 pounds on as a team, you're doing everything you can to keep the big guy on the apron, and they have done that. Now Truex back in. He's looking for his own vertical suplex, and he gets it. And Truex, well, he's very proud of himself for that one. Maybe took too much time, and he did as Cobb kicks out of two. Cobb is ready to go at the next opportunity he can to try and get Kratos. There it is. He's got the fireman's carry. He knocks Kratos down, and a Samoan drop. Big Samoan drop, and Kratos wants this bad. He's been on that apron for at least five minutes, and he is fresh, and he is ready. Cobb is ready to unleash the god of war, and here comes Kratos! Ducks under the double clothesline, out back! Springboard crossbody! Huge crossbody from a huge man. And a double clothesline of his own! Runs right through him with that double clothesline. He's perched on the second rope. And a double blockbuster! And Kratos is ready! This guy is fresh. He's looking for the game changer. And the game changer, he just grabs him and throws him up. He doesn't care where they land. But it's broken up by Truex. Sends him in the cob! And that's oh. his move! Tour of the Islands, the huge reverse momentum power slam from Cobb, and a gigantic running kick from Kratos. Now Kratos is ready. Him and Cobb. Cobb is going to go to the top. He's ready. Here it comes, the game changer. Lifts him up on the leg, and there it is. Here's Cobb. Big frog splash. Kratos, the legal man. One, two, and they'll do it. Now that and is your an winner, impressive Bob Pinfall. The team of Mr. Athletic, Jeff and Cobb, and the God of War. Well, these guys have not seen that before. Kratos. And they come out victorious. And I'll tell you what, these two guys who might be teammates tonight, they might have been so impressive, they could be across from each other for oh, yeah. the title. Oh, yeah. I could see these two matching up for the title in the not-too-distant future. The fans obviously love both of them. I don't know if they'd be able to coexist. They're too talented individually to last as a team. But these guys made a huge impression on the Phoenix wrestling crowd tonight. J.R. Kratos and Jeff Cobb, the God of War and Mr. Athletic. Very happy with themselves, they get a victory over Corvus and Truex. Truex doesn't know where he is. discord between Corvus and Truex over here. They can be happy about the way things ended up. And your winners once again, Mr. Athletic, Jeff Cobb, and the God of War. J.R. These two gentlemen, these two physically dominant specimens have made their mark here in Phoenix Pro Wrestling. The and Phoenix we Wrestling crowd has never seen two guys like this. And they are looking like two guys who are the front runners right now for that championship match. I have to imagine the championship committee is thinking really highly of Kratos and Cobb. Kratos and Cobb giving the fans their money's worth.